What is going on, MPL fans? My name is Frosty, aka the Alpha Like and Rock, and today I'm bringing you guys our week two match against uh, Nyrix and his Brussel Bell Sprouts. So his team uh, has got some definite heavy headers on it, uh, as you can see on the screen uh, on the left hand side, or your yes, on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see his team. Uh, he has Minear, Mega Altaria, Zerkatree, Heatran, Amoongus, Slowking, Mamoswine, Excelgor, Sock, Lightpart, and Miss Magis. So, uh, and his Zemon is Zerkatree. So, uh, a little bit of a weird play with making Zerkatree the, the Zemon, just because uh, it doesn't have a lot of coverage moves, but I mean, it does do what it does good at, you know, 173 special attack, which is not anything to scoff over. But, uh,. It is what it is. So, uh, as you guys, I'm about to show you uh, is my team built for him. And so, for this team, I realized that playing the safe, semi stall, you know, regular team basis wasn't gonna. Uh, we, me and my, uh, me and local Google who helped build this team with me, we looked at it. We were like, you know what? I think we're gonna have to go with uh, a more attack heavy team, a more offensively heavy team. And so, with that, we had to. Uh, we built a team that was very, very attack oriented. So we knew that was, there wasn't going to be much in the ways of defense. We knew it wasn't going to be a very long battle. So uh, with that, we decided we were going to go into it. And starting off with the team builder, our first mod we wanted to bring, we knew it was going to be the biggest one. It's going to be Cynthia. Cynthia, we knew it was going to be the biggest mod. Uh, it was going to play one of the biggest roles on the team uh, with this one because he had a lot of things that were weak to ground as Zerkatiri is weak to ground and uh, Heatran quad weak to ground as nothing really wants to come in and take an earthquake. Uh, he does have, I believe, one Mon that is flying that is immune to it in the Altaria, but once it uh, Mega evolves, it's not going to want to take it. Uh, so for this one, we decided to bring a Yachi Berry as we were expecting to see Hidden Power Ice. Uh, we we're expecting to see Hidden Power Ice Zerkatiri and also Hidden Power Ice, I'm sorry, Ice Beam. Uh, sloking and so we wanted to be able to eat up at least one hit from full HP and take it out as uh, Cynthia can't quite fully take out the uh, He can't take out the Sloking in one hit, but he can definitely do Do some good chip damage to it. Also, he can just switch out and get into anything else there So uh, we brought uh, Cynthia our Garchomp rocking the Yashi Berry got also got the rough skin because you know It's probably one of the best ones and we got earthquake outrage iron head and stealth rock So this is my stealth rock user as he has nothing on his team that has defog So uh, rocks are gonna play very very important in this match as once they're up they're up to stay and he takes switch damage So this is gonna help to get all of that iron head is for that uh, Altaria as I'm expecting Dragon Dance. I'm 50 15 it right now. I'm expecting Dragon Dance Altaria, but I'm also expecting uh, Cotton Guard Altaria as well. As if it is Cotton Guard, it probably will not do me well as I don't have many counters to it. But uh, I do have ways of killing it with uh, the other mons on the team uh, that we have. So for this one, uh, Garchomp was the most solid of picks to bring for this match because it, it does huge damage to most of the team. It, it does run good. On most of the team. Uh, next, we're bringing Danger, the Magnezone. This one, it's not to trap the Heatran. I mean, I mean, it's not bad to 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 for the Heatran, but Heatran does get Earth Power. It does have access to an Earth type move that can that is quad. I am quad weak to it, so it can definitely happen. So we knew it was slow, so we decided to go Analytic and put it an Assault Vest on, and we decided to put. Uh, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Mirror Coat. As Mirror Coat does work through Assault Vest, which we found out uh, through testing that. I didn't know that before, but Local Google told me that it did, and through testing, we did find out that it actually does work. So I didn't actually know that before, so very good information to know. But uh, Modest Nature, a little bit in the special defenses, mostly HP invested. Uh, and with the Assault Vest, he becomes a little bit more bulkier on the special defenses. But basically, he's just there to throw out Volt Switches and a Flash Cannon, scare out a couple of things, uh, as Mirror Coat would. Uh, if, I, if he does bring Earth Power, if I survive the Earth Power, Mirror Coat does kill it, as I will take huge chunks of damage from it. So uh, I don't expect Earth Power to one-shot me uh, under the Assault Vest, but I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong, depending on the investments of, of it. I'm expecting a kind of a Stealth Rock and specially defensive version of it, but I could be wrong on that, so uh, I definitely do need to play that right. Uh, next, we're bringing Princess Leia. We're bringing our Tapu Lele. Now, this is a semi-setup win con. 
for the uh, for the end of the match, uh, it's going to be rocking the Mind Plate and Calm Mind. Hidden Power Ground, as Hidden Power Ground does quite bits to Zerkatry and I'm sorry, uh, does quite bits to Zerkatry, but not only that, it also hits the Heatran, which Heatran could wall this thing otherwise, as it quad resists both uh, Moonblast and it does it quad resists Moonblast and it resists Psychic. So Calm Minds get that up and running, and then Hidden Power Ground with the Hidden Power Ground, we will have we'll be able to kill and do lots of damage to the Heatran. So, uh, Mind Plates just to make the Psychic hit a lot harder, as lots of things on his team uh, do take huge chunks of damage, if not get one-shotted by Mind Plate Psychic under Psychic Terrain. So, this is, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a setup, it's a setup win con. It is something for uh, late games, once, uh, once Zerkatry and uh, possibility of... Um, and Heatran are gone, as I am expecting Circuitry and Heatran. Uh, those are mainly what I'm planning for. So next we have uh, Alibaba, which is also uh, this is just uh, this is Mega Al Mega Alakazam, uh, and so uh, we, there is no just ringing Red Alakazam. It is always going to be Mega Al Alakazam, as this one is rocking Psychic Dazzling Gleam, Hidden Power Ground, and Shadow Ball. As this uh, Shadow Ball hits both the Ghost types, Dazzling Gleam hits Dark, and it hits uh, Altaria. Psychic just is psychic it's stab and it does damage and hidden power ground also for the zergatry and for the quad week um heat train so this definitely had to have coverage moves to, to do that shadow ball is not a two hit ko um on uh special defensive heat train but hidden power ground is it hidden power ground even with uh specially defensive investments uh, still does clean 60%, which is still a two-hit KO, which is definitely what we wanted. And with Rocks Up, it'll definitely put it within range to get KO'd after a couple of switch-ins. So uh, this one is kind of a my excuse me my speed win con. Uh, definitely late game win con should everything go down, and I can just come in and psychic everything for the win. Uh, next, we have Whitney, our mill tank. Now this is our uh, curse mill tank, as he does have. Um, I forgot he he has a grass type user. Um, one second, hold on, one second. Let me bring that over here. Sorry about that. I had to. Look. Oh, he has Nimungus. Okay, so this was uh this was uh so I, I I wanted to bring I wanted to bring Flame Body as Flame Body would have been nice to have, but he has the Amungus and the Amungus kind of scares me because Amungus does get Spore and with that I wanted to make sure I had a switch into this Amungus that was basically a free plus one to me at any time. So I definitely brought uh, Sap Super Mill Tank again as I wanted to make sure that if he does go for Spore I can come in, I be gained an immunity to it and I then get a plus one which then I can curse up, get my defenses up, and then pretty much body slam my way to there, to the win. Uh, even if I do get burned or poisoned, I do have the heal bell on this set. Uh, it is uh, a little bit in the special defenses, mostly attack, most uh, HP investments, as I will be expecting this thing not to outspeed anything on the team, especially after one or two curses. It's definitely not outspeeding anything on the team, but it also is going to hit like a truck. So uh, this is definitely a also late game win con. Like I said, this is a very attack heavy variant team. So there isn't many switch ins. Uh, like I said, there is not much to switch into Zerkatry on this team. So uh, like I, guess I could switch into Cynthia, but if he goes for HP Ice, I blow the Yachi Berry and I scare it out and I can't switch into it again. So uh, Danger could do it, but Danger can't survive more than two. So I needed to be able to literally catch it on switch in or i'm gonna start losing things to it so and i also need to be careful because tail glow circuitry is still a thing and whitney is fast enough to do about 45 percent damage so if i can weaken it down with rocks or get it weakened whitney can come in and body slam kill it and revenge it while it was its speed as it is faster than uh circuitry lastly we got uh one night stand in the muck as this is just uh almost kind of the same set that we brought last week except for this is full hp invested full attack invested it is still rocking an assault vest uh, a little bit in special defenses as this is kind of just a pursuit trapper for um miss magius and it is also there for uh Sorry, it is also there for knockoff. Uh, Shadows need to get small damages in on everything as this thing uh, is pretty much switching fodder to sloking. And it's also sloking. That's what it is as well. As I'm expecting sloking, uh, I want to make sure that if it switches out, it doesn't get a bunch of free things. So I want to be able to pursue trap that. Hold on one second. So this is pretty much the team as it is. I, I lost track of what I was doing now. So the team again is going to be 
Uh, so the other guard chomp, Danger or Magnazone, Princess Leia or Tapu Lele, Alakazam, uh, sorry, Alibaba or Mega Alakazam, Whitney the Mill Tank, and uh, One Night Stand or Alolan Mug. So, like I said, a very attack heavy version of the team. Not very many switches in, as uh, not <laughs> there's nothing much on the team that switches in to Zerk Tree. So, uh, next you guys will see, you guys will see the replay of our match. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, here we are. We have our match. Uh, we we had our match with uh, Polly Rath YT, a.k.a. the uh, Brussels Belt Sprouts coach. And with this match, as you can see, his team, he did bring the Heatran. He did bring the uh, uh, the Mega Altaria. He did bring the Slow King. Uh, things I was not expecting, uh, the Sock and the Lipard a little bit, but easily handleable. And Minior we kind of planned for, but we still have ways of handling it via uh, other things. Now, as for this match, I'm not going to lie. This match, I played trash. It is it is probably the biggest trash match that I played, and most of most of the time I like my switches. Like I I was I think I woke up like two hours for this match. I was tired tired from work. My new schedule kind of got me a little bit more tired than I need to be doing these things. Like I uh, we built this like I said we built the team on Saturday and we waited till Friday to have this match. So it, it literally built the team, tested it for like a night, and then didn't touch it for like six days. But as for this, I'm just going to let you guys know this match was trash. I played absolutely trash worthy. And I, I'll, I'll just let it speak for itself as we go here. So I, I, we're going to get into the match and let's just go with this now. So as for my leads, I, I knew he was going to lead with the heat Heatran. So I decided to lead up with Lele to get the Psychic Terrain up. I go for Hidden Power just to weaken it. And he goes for the Flash Cannon, which one K KOs me. Now, this is my first mistake. I did kind of think about a fully attack vested uh, Heatran, but in my tiredness, I didn't fully take into account that this would Oko the best mon on my, uh, probably one of the best mons on my team. So losing Princess Leia turn one is a big, big no-no. You never want to sacrifice a mon turn one, as I could have switched into Muck here and scared it out with whatever, whatever it would have had. As I could have gone for knockoff, I could have gone for anything, and anything would have done huge, clean chunks of damage to this, this point. Uh, so I could have done anything. I could have gone into uh, Garchomp as Garchomp would have guaranteed scared it out. And then I could have set up rocks. So as it is, we lose layup turn one. First, first, the first bad point of this match. So uh, we're going to keep going. And next I decide I'm going to go into Garchomp and Cynthia scare it out. Here I'm like, okay, there's, there's three moves I can do. I can go for the Earthquake, chancing that he stays in. And I can kill this Heatran as Heatran is now out of the way and I revenge kill it. Two, I click Outrage, expecting Altaria to come in, and I one-shot the Altaria on the on the switch in. Or three, I set up rocks and I let the Altaria come in for free. So thinking of this, I was thinking, okay, uh, if he brings in anything other than Altaria or um, Minior, I can pretty much get clean damage on whatever he brings in, even including the Slowking. So as it is, I just decide I'm gonna click Earthquake. And what do you know? He brings in the Altaria. Now, this is it. I was really, really close to clicking the Outrage button, as Outrage would have one-shot this thing. Easily. Easily would have one-shot this thing. Easily. So, there was no way in hell that an Altaria survives an Outrage from a, from a Garchomp. No way, no how. He then loses this thing on switching, and I no longer have to worry about a Fairy Stab. Uh, two, I didn't go for Earthquake. I'm uh, sorry, I didn't go for rocks, as in rocks would have been nice, as everything he would have switched in after this would have taken chip damage, which would have been absolutely amazing on some of these plays later on. So I made that the biggest mistake by going for Earthquake, as Earthquake was probably the worst move I could have actually chosen in this match to, to use at this exact moment, as any of the other ones would have gained me and net me so much advantage that uh, it would have been seriously hard to gain, especially losing Altaria on switch in. So, uh, here he mega evolves, and I'm just deciding, I'm, I'm going to go for Iron Head, expecting him to either Dragon Dance or Cotton Guard. Uh, he does reveal Dragon Dance, as now I know I cannot stay into this thing, as it will one-shot my Garchomp at this point. So, at this point, I pretty much have to sack something off. Something has to get sacked off. So, at this point, I just decide I'm going to uh, sack off Muck. But, thinking about it, Muck I probably could have used later. But I just decide I'm going to sack off Muck because I can't think straight and I got I to gotta sack something off. Another big misplay. Now I go into Alibaba. This time I don't make the mistake I did last match. And 
I'm just like, you know what? Let's kill it. It is Dragon Dance, but there's no way its speed matches my own after Mega Evolution as I'm still faster than this thing. So I'm just going to click Dazzling Gleam. Uh, Gleam. I'm going to trace the Pixelate, which doesn't matter because I don't have a normal type move. And I'm going to kill this thing. I'm going to get rid of it. So this thing is gone. I'm not really too worried about it. As now Psychic Terrain is gone, he brings in the Light Bard. Here, here's, here's the big thing. Here's my rationale thinking. I can't switch out because I know this thing gets Pursuit. I also have to worry about Sucker Punch. What does he choose? Does he go for Pursuit or Sucker Punch? If he goes Pursuit and I switch, I lose Alibaba for no reason. If he goes for Sucker Punch, I lose it for going for the attack. As it is, I'm stuck in a 50-50 stalemate. So I don't really have a choice at this matter, as my best play is to just stay in and to go for Dazzling Gleam. As if he doesn't go for Sucker Punch, I could do clean chunks. If not, I will one-shot this thing. Guaranteed. So, I decide to stay in, go Dazzling Gleam, as he reveals the Sash. Now here, rocks would have played a huge difference as I would have one-shotted this thing after rocks. So I would not have had to take the damage that I'm about to take on Alibaba right here, and Alibaba would have been at full HP. So here he reveals Dark Pulse. This throws me off, and I showed the match to Logo Ghoul afterwards, after we were completely done. I sent him the replay, and he just, he was mind-boggled, as, as was I a little bit, about why he has special light part. As, like I said, Pursuit or Sucker Punch would have done just as good as a Pursuit Trap. Wouldn't have killed me, but would have done cleaner, clean chunks of damage. Sucker, plus he plays the mind game of, what do you, what am I going to click? Do you, you know, do I chance you switching out for free or, you know, do I bait you into the sucker punch? So this was a little bit weird to, to both of us as we both were kind of caught off guard by it. We discussed it later and we realized that if he had had sucker punch, he would have actually uh, killed Alibaba and he would have had the 5-2, uh, the 5-3 advantage. So, so from here, I just, I know I'm faster as I don't know if he has sucker punch or not. I just go for Dazzling Gleam again. I kill it and he switches in my Neo. Now here... I can't let this thing set up. I know this thing's best moves are to set up with Shell Smash. So Shell Smash, White Herb, and Acrobatics are very, very key things that I've seen on the ladder. So I'm expecting a Shell Smash, AKA Shell, Shell Smash Sash or Shell Smash White Herb. So this, I just decide I'm gonna stay in as Psychic Wheel do pretty much clean amounts of damage and here's another case where the rocks would have come in clean because the rocks would have done 25 percent and as you guys can see i would have one shot it if if the rocks were up as he does go for shell smash like i think does reveal the white herb now here there's nothing much i can do i know i'm not outspeeding this thing so the best plan i can have is i know he's going to go for a physical type move as i think it's going to go for something uh like i'm pretty sure he's going to go for acrobatics as acrobatics is his strongest stab move so i'm going to go right in to cynthia and i'm going to let him kill himself to rough skin damage as he does so cynthia picks up the ko by rough skin damage which i will take all day every day as that was the biggest threat on the team now here I'm like, okay, I can't really do anything. I don't really have a switch. So here I'm just gonna click Outrage as nothing on his team wants to take an Outrage. So if he just decides to pull the double, then whatever. Uh, so I decide I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click Outrage as it shows that he does about 50%. Here, he decides to go for Scald, so I don't know what he was trying to catch in on Switch in, maybe something, uh, maybe just try to get the quick KO. Uh, I am resistant, maybe he was expecting me to switch in Alibaba or whatever it was. Uh, I'm not really sure what on that one. So here I just, I, I'm like, okay, I'm locked in Outrage, can't do anything, and I know I'm not going to kill it, but I can weaken it, but I get lucky and I get a crit. So here, my amount of luck goes off, as it does confuse me after the second turn, so I guess it's kind of tit for tat at that point, because if I could have got a third one off, I would have, it would have been golden. So, I end up killing Emperor, and then he brings in Sock. Now, Sock, I'm like, okay, I can't, I don't want to lose this thing. So, I bring in Dangerous. I'm like, okay, there's nothing I can really do. As he reveals Poison Jam. I don't know. This this one boggles me still, and I don't know why he picked Poison Jam to go for, as his best move, in my opinion, is Close Combat. As Close Combat runs through this team. Look at the four Mons I have left. I have Garchomp that's sitting at a 10%. I have Danger, which is four times weak, and I was ready to sack off. I was ready to sack this thing off. And like, that was the whole point, was to sack this thing off to get into Whitney, and to hopefully get a Body Slam off, or to, to get into Garchomp, as Garchomp, I would have then taken it to, you know, whatever, to see what I could do. I was ready, I was ready. And looking at this, if he clicks Close Combat, at the, if he clicks Close Combat at this point, he wins 2-0, guaranteed, as nothing on my team, at this point, takes close combat. 
but uh, he doesn't, he goes for poison down. Here I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go for the T-Bolt, as I am expecting close combat to come through now, but he switches. Now, now, on this switch, I fully know he is scarfed. He is scarfed sturdy. I don't need anything to tell me what he need, what, what needs to be done, as I already know at this moment that he switches, that he is scarfed sturdy. I'm like, crap, I have nothing that is faster than that thing scarfed sturdy, as I know it's full special, I know it's full speed invested, jolly nature, there's nothing I have that outspeeds this. So I have to get lucky. I have to truly, truly get lucky on this match. So he brings in core as I go for the T-Bolt. I'm analytic, so it does a decent chunk of damage. Now here, I didn't have anything that really took the, took anything this thing wanted to do well, as I'm expecting a fire type attack, which I can semi, you know, take decent, but not, you know, doing this. But he does reveal that he does have the earth power, as it does one shot me. I was kind of, uh, as again, I did forget that it was fully attack invested i thought i could survive it but uh looking at the calc i was looking at the utility set which is not fully attack invested and i you know my my set said i could i could survive it but with very very little amounts of health i was volt switching on this as to gain the initiative but it just didn't happen that way so he goes in uh, i just decide i'm gonna go into alibaba and i'm gonna pick up this kill as i trace flash fire so now he can't fire me down i'm just gonna go for hidden power ground as it is just to guarantee move to kill uh here uh, here I know I'm not faster. So here I'm just like, okay, I need to get into, uh, I need to break the sturdy. So I'm gonna go into Cynthia because if he makes contact via close combat, I break the sturdy and I have a chance to, I have a chance to win. I still have a chance to win. So he goes, and he goes earthquake. I, at this point, I have no other words. I have no other words to say at this point. I looked back at it. I looked back. Actually, I looked at it during the match. During the end of the match, when I looked at it, I I actually messaged. I messaged. I messaged him after the match, and I went, "Do you have close combat? Do you have CC?" And he said, "Yes, I do." And I went, "Do you realize that if you click CC at the end, you would have swept me with sock?" And he goes, "Yeah, but I fear scarf chomp." And I was like, "Okay, that's definitely, definitely, a, a, definitely a thing." But here's here's the downside to this. I know he wasn't paying attention to, to Chomp. Why? Because if he had noticed it back in turn two, he would have noticed I went for Earthquake. Then turn three, I go for Iron Head right after that. So he would have known if if he was paying attention, he would have known that I would that I did that I was not scarfed or choiced in any manner, because I switched moves immediately. Uh, I brought. Yachi Berry, as for Yachi Berry was the best thing to handle, you know, an ice type move as I can survive one ice type attack and then get some damage off on something. So here he goes for Earthquake. Now on this point, I already know what I do. I go into Whitney as it is my full bulky mon and I know he can't touch me. I set up one curse and I milk drink to guarantee that a crit doesn't kill me. And then I body slam this thing to death. As I know I can't one-shot it because of Sturdy, I just decide I'm gonna Milk Drink to guarantee that the crit doesn't kill me. On this turn, he goes for, you know, since he's choiced into it, he goes for Earthquake, now does 29. I go for Body Slam, hoping for a para, just so that way I can kill it on the next turn. Uh, it doesn't para, so I decide I'm gonna Milk Drink as to not take damage, as I could have just killed it straight out right. Uh, but I wanted to guarantee that I was not going to take some sort of a real weird crit and get killed, and I just decide I'm gonna body slam. 21 turns, as we do take a 2-0 victory. Um, like I said, this match this match was trash. There were bad plays on both sides of the field, and I can't I can't say anything other than that. I made bad switches. I switched into, uh, I mean, the, the poison jab, switch into when I swapped in, him not going for close combat, that was a bad play on his part. Me not thinking of full attack vested Heatran, that was just stupid on my part, as I should have lost this match. This match, I should have lost. Uh, I should have lost this match easily, as me not going for rocks, huge misplay. Me not going for the the outrage. Me going for the the general worst amount of plays I could have done. I played like utter trash, and I should have lost this match. I should have lost this match probably 2 or 3 0, uh, as Sock would have ran through my team at this point. Uh, so at the point in health that I was at, there was no way Sock would not have gotten kills on things. So, uh, GG to Polyrat TV, uh, my, my bad man. And I, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to put you down. It's just, I, I am saying I am 
I played like trash. I played trash and I should have lost. But we both made bad plays on both sides of the board and it just so happened I got I got on the luckier side and I picked up the victory. So as for this, we did pick up another victory. This is a interconference match. So our first two matches against Tennessee and this and uh Brussel here are both in our same conference and our type of I'm sorry, in a division matches. So they're both division matches as we are now uh now we are now 2-0 in our division matches, which is very, very good for playoffs long term. So, uh, with this, my mon of the week this week had to be Garchomp, as Garchomp picked up three, especially uh, picking up the rough skin kill at the, on the Minior, and getting lucky on the Slow King was definitely a big thing. I'm sorry, no, Alakazam. Alakazam picked up three, my bad. It was only Garchomp who picked up two. Alakazam is my mon of the week, basically, because uh, he came in and did what he needed to do, and he handled business like a champ. Um, Whitney, thank you, coming in boss at the end but like i said i played like trash i made bad switches i sacked muck when i didn't need to sack muck uh i stayed in on an earth power when i shouldn't have stayed in on an earth power i should have sacked out i could have sacked out like sam and then brought in garchomp and got free earthquakes off and then i could have done you know and then i could have done so much other things so this was just uh bad this is just bad plays on my part so uh so i i need to definitely pick it up next week as next week we do play a uh, pretty decent team. I can't even remember who we play right now. I really don't. I don't remember. I don't even remember who we play. So give me give me one second. Let me let me look this up. I don't even I don't even know. I'm I'm still kind of iffy about my match just because, like I said, I played so bad and so trash that I'm just kind of iffy about how the way it played. And there's nobody to blame but myself on this. So, uh, me and. Uh, Loco, my buddy Loco, who's been helping me and been watching, you know, kind of watching me and kind of helping me. Uh, he, we both looked at it and we both know that my, I, I actually pointed out the mistakes to him right off the bat. Like I, I literally, as I sent him a message via Discord, I was like, "Hey, I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I did this wrong." And he basically came across and was like, "Yep, yeah, you pretty much did all these things wrong." Uh, but he also showed me that it wasn't fully all, all my fault, as there were both bad plays on both sides of the board. So, uh, as it is. Uh, my next match is against the Salaz and Salazzles, and they have some definite threats on that team, if I remember correctly. They have... Ah, this is the team. Okay, so this is the team that has Tapu Fini and Landorus T and Mega Scizor, so definitely some big heavy hitters on this part. Uh, Reuniclus is definitely nothing to joke about. Is Great Wall, Halucha, and Sneasel, as I've been swept up by Sneasel before. Uh, Weezing, a Dragonite. A Dragonite is a Dragonite, man. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't stay stay unclean on Dragonite here so uh, definitely have to be careful about that so uh, it was a great match it was a, it was a good it was a decent match between me and Polyrath YT Polyrath uh, I will try to get his link down in the description down below but we are definitely gonna be preparing next week for the Salazzles as we hope to stay 3-0 as we definitely come into the tougher part of the season uh, coming in because I know that I think my next three or four matches are against some decent decently good coaches uh, Salazzles, the Volcaronas, and the Bisharp. The Bisharps looked really good week one as they picked up a 6-0 win on week one uh, On the back of Gyarados there. So that was a uh, uh, so there the next couple of weeks are definitely gonna be some scary weeks So I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always uh, uh, Like comment subscribe and uh, Keep coming keep coming back for more NPL content more content uh, I, ho I hope to play better and do better in the next match as I'm going to need to play better and do better in the next match. So that way I do not lose. Uh, so have yourselves a great day. We'll pack and stay strong. All right.